Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to another Calypso Cigar Review Quickie. I'm your host, Brandon Luna, and today we'll be smoking and reviewing the Emilio Dreg Cayaquero. It is the new incarnation of the Dreg. A couple of years back, they came out with the Dreg K, and I was a big fan of it. It was the one that had the big pink dragon on the band. A lot of people were like, oh, it's a pink dragon. That's weird. But it was a very, very tasty smoke, and it aged really well. So I'm really looking forward to this. The one I got in this one is the 6x52 Toro. The wrapper on this is a Brazilian Arapiraca. Arapiraca, say that fast five times. The binder and filler are Nicaraguan. The cold draw on it is very woodsy with a little bit of spice, and the smell on the foot is all sweet. I'm looking really, really, really looking forward to this. Um, I'm a big fan of the Drag K, and I hope this is going to be as good, if not better, than that cigar. Drag K was very dark, rich, Maduro looking wrapper. This one's not, so it's going to be different, but I am looking forward to what Emilio is doing with this big fan of the other one so i'm gonna give it a light and i'll let you know what i think after the first third all right so i'm about to the end of the first third of the drag and uh, i'm not gonna say the other name again because it's too hard for me to say and i'm gonna get it wrong but um so far it is a very nice flavor i'd say it's medium body very spicy um even through the retro the retro hail is like super spicy and it's like um it's almost like a like a how do you describe that? It's it's a spice, but it's not like black pepper. It's just like a uh, it's a light spice, uh, more like a cayenne, I guess, or something like that. Um, there's a little like a tinge of citrus to it, almost like a grapefruit citrus, where it's a little acidic, but it's tasty. Um, very woodsy without the retrohale. If you're just smoking it, um, just mouth smoking it, it's uh, very woodsy, very tobacco-y. Um, it's got a good flavor to it. It's got a real good full flavor to it even though it's a medium bodied smoke so far so tasty and uh, the burns a little on the wonky side but i'm gonna forgive that it's a little bit windy outside so i'm gonna blame the wind on that and i got a little split in the uh, ash but the ash has held on very nicely i'm probably gonna go ahead and ash it though because um well it's not really cracking i could probably let it go longer but i don't want to wear it so first third i'm a fan I'm looking forward to the second third i think it's gonna ramp up in the strength but you never know you can't tell really when it's the first time you smoke something um so i'll give you an update when i get into the end of the second third all right so i'm into the second third of the emilio drag cayaquero and um tasty it's definitely gotten stronger at this point um, there's definitely more strength to it in the second third taste has shifted a little bit but not a whole lot um, it's gotten very strong um i say very strong it's still it's teetering on medium body to full um it's definitely got a lot of tobacco flavor to it, and there's some leather joining the party at this point. Um, very, very tasty. Um, so far, I think I may like the profile the profile of the uh, Drag K a little more, um, just because that was so interesting and odd and different, and this one's more, I guess, normal. But it's still very tasty. I would definitely smoke it again for sure. A lot of great smoke coming out of it too. It's got a really thick white plumy smoke, which is always nice when you're smoking a cigar. You want that thick plumy smoke. Um, so I'll be getting into the last third here. I'll give you an update on the last third and what I think final thoughts wise on the uh, 2013 Drag. All right, so I'm at the last third of the Emilio Drag, whatever it's called. I'm not gonna try and say it again. And um, second third, last third, pretty much the same. Um, the, real on, the only real changeover was between the first third and the second third. Still very tasty though. Definitely bolder in the second and the last third. Um, a lot more spice, especially through the retrohale. Uh, the spice has turned into more of a pepper spice on the last third. And um, yeah, overall a solid stick. I would say probably I like the Drag K a little better personally. Um, just because it had more to offer and there was more changes in the cigar. Uh, but this one's a solid stick, yeah. I mean, I've been really happy with a lot of the Emilio stuff that's coming out. Um, so if you haven't looked at House of Emilio, they have a lot of great boutique cigars. Definitely try them out. And um, as always, check out our full podcast on iTunes, Podomatic, Spreaker, Stitcher, all the places you can find us, YouTube, etc., etc., iHeartRadio. We're all over the place. Give us those comments, those likes. It only helps us find more people, and um, we always appreciate that. So as always, it's been great smoking with you. See you next time.